This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with another PowerPoint tip to help you make happy hour. How to use smart art to quickly create a Venn diagram and then breaking out the middle pieces so that you can format them however you see fit. And here in PowerPoint, I have a blank slide, so I'll start by inserting the smart art graphic to create my Venn diagram. With my mouse, I'll click the insert tab. I'll select smart art here in the illustrations group. I'll select the relationship category here on the left and then I'll scroll down to the bottom to find my basic Venn diagram here at the bottom. Click OK, and the Venn diagram smart art graphic is inserted into my layout. Now the cool thing about smart art is if I click in to the type your text here and hit enter, I can quickly add as many circles as I want to my Venn diagram. In this case, I'm just gonna use three circles for my Venn diagram. Now up here in your ribbon, you have a lot of different options to format your Venn diagram but if you want to format these overlapping pieces here in the center, you actually need to break your graphic. And you can do that by simply ungrouping the graphic twice. So with the Venn diagram selected on my keyboard, I'll hit Control Shift G once for ungroup, Control Shift G a second time, which breaks the smart art or Venn diagram graphic into individual overlapping circles. And I'll hit Control Z twice to stack the circles back on top of each other. Now the way this Venn diagram is currently set up is that each one of these circles has a transparency of 50% applied to it. So I'm gonna first take that away. So I'll select all three circles and I'm gonna use my QAT Alt 3 for shape fill, which you can download by subscribing to our website. I'll hit M for more colors. And down here in transparency, I'll just type zero, hit enter. And you can see now I just have three overlapping circles. To break out the overlapping pieces, I'll again select all three circles, and here in PowerPoint 2013, from the Drawing Tools Format tab, I can select the Merge Shapes tool. If you have PowerPoint 2010, check out our other video. I'm gonna select Fragment, which breaks each of the overlapping sections into its individual pieces, and I'll Control Z to undo those back into the graphic. And now that everything is its own individual piece, I can now select each individual piece, all three, and begin formatting these any way I see fit and or typing directly into the shapes until I end up with something that looks like this. And you can see here, I've typed directly into each one of the shapes and adjusted the interior margins. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training and I'll see you at happy hour.